All right, everybody, welcome back to Minecraft Hardcore. Here's our current advancement progress. And I want to start off by mentioning that somebody in the comments on the last video may have saved my life and this series because they mentioned, hey, your run may be over if you jump down there and the water has frozen. And that reminded me, yep, or in a cold biome, that's a possible outcome that we do not want to have happen. So I'm gonna go down there and I'm gonna put a torch next to the water and see if it's even frozen in the first place. But yeah, that could have hurt. That would have been, I don't know, would it have been an embarrassing way to die or would it have been, yeah, I can see how we might've forgotten that. It's hard to tell, but it is looking a little frozen. Is that, I think that might be ice. Oh yeah. Oh, we, we would have died <laughs> very, very badly. Hmm. Okay. Thank you, commenter. You are very much appreciated. That should stay water now, I think. I hope. If not, then I guess we die despite knowing about this being a possibility. Back up. I think we are going to need a lot more blocks in order to get to max world height, but also I think our Fletcher has probably restonked. Hey, man, stop trying to run away. I have more goodies for you. Well, in the in the shulker box, I do. I could use these to build up, but instead, please come back. Why are you running away? Come here. I need more emeralds so that whatever. Tra Actually, you know what? I could just do this trade rather than trying to overcomplicate things. Yeah, I'll just do the stick trade from the top of the world. Um, but that does mean I need to get you to come. You wanna, you wanna go to bed, don't you? He's, he wants to go to. Okay, I'll get you tomorrow. That's fine. Okay, this is a much better way to do it. And you get front row seats to the whole thing. If I do go splats, you'll just right there. For the end of the final series. Isn't this exciting? It's not even looking at me. Okay. Anyway, I need more blocks to build up to the top. Sorry about the adjacent uh, terrain around your village. But it will snow again, and then it will end up, um, you know, blending in with everything else. I think that should be enough dirt. But then again, I always forget how high actual world height is now that it's much higher than it ever was before. But if you haven't seen this before, it is just a way to accomplish Star Trader without having to do a minecart all the way up to max world height and take the trader up there. Yes, it's a bit of a cheese, but we're just trying to get the advancements in any way possible. God, I never actually remember how high it looks when you get up here. Oh boy. Um, I may want to just like, okay, because for top of the world to bottom of the world, we want to make sure that we are properly lined up. I'm just going to add like a couple extra layers down here so that we can ensure we can just go contactless. Like we drop down, we're already lined up and um, there is nothing further to worry about uh, when it comes to dropping down. So, okay, anyway, the villager is, is here see him anymore the only risk is that like we actually just miss him in the amount of time that we have before the upper ender pearl lands so this is why of course i have a really big surplus of ender pearls so that if things go wrong i don't have to go all the way back to the end and get them again he says completely seriously all right well here goes nothing for Star Trader, I have to kind of like just estimate how long this is gonna take to fall and then throw the next one accordingly. Yeet! It's going, it's going, and yeet! Please work. And there we go, and wait for it, and boop! Star Trader, let's go baby! First try, come on, he got the timing right. Okay, so because you can hold the villager's trade menu open when you get back to the top of the world, even after the Ender Pearl teleport, it counts as you trading with a villager at the top of the world, even if the villager isn't here. Little legal loophole. Okay, well, our <laughs> next thing after that is, um, let's just hope that this actually works properly because there is a chance that it's not gonna count the first time, and we'll have to do it again. But, okay, this one's high pressure. Oh God, no touchies, no touchies, no touchies, no touchies. It worked! First try, come on! 
So I saw a few comments that were people saying, well, it's it might have a better chance of being reliable if you make it so that like it's the final edge of like eight blocks worth of water flow. But like, where am I going to do that? We're at bedrock. I'm not going to get a straight shot of eight blocks of Y equals negative 64 bedrock. I can just place the water on, but it worked. So we don't have to worry about that anymore. This is exciting. All right, we conquered them both, no issues. I think I've still got enough blocks to build up, hopefully. Otherwise, it'll just be more tedious. Oh, hey, diamonds. Hello, Mr. Pickaxe, are you turned on? You know, you, would you like to give us more than one diamond? No, no, he wouldn't. It's the craziest thing I've ever seen. I'm about to get four more diamonds, right? One. Hey, three from one, that's the best so far. Wait, 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 okay, wait, wait, wait. We are getting diamonds, we're getting diamonds. There were at least 19 from, I don't know, was that like eight or something like that? Okay, fair enough. You know what? It's better than last time. Thank you for your cooperation. Now I will make sure you don't get eaten by zombies. Although maybe you'll be the one that I convert or something like that um, so that uh, we can get more emeralds. I don't know. Anyway, do we have? Oh, yeah, we haven't gotten this one before. Hey, potatoes. I don't think I've eaten a potato yet, have I? No. Also, I would love to. We've eaten a baked potato, but we haven't eaten a normal tater. And we need to be able to plant those anyway. It'll be a better food source than what we currently got going on. I did see some folks saying, hey, you should make a lightning rod and add it here so that the villagers don't turn into witches. And maybe I will do that. But... All right, here we go. I'm definitely not going to end up accidentally killing you. I would never. Got it. Okay. Good stuff, guys. Good stuff. Thank you, everybody. And uh, I will be back later, most likely, after I trade with you, actually. Let me do the remainder of this, this stuff here, because I might as well. You know what, actually? I, I've changed my mind. While we're here, let's cycle. Maybe for some mending, at the very least. I've been at this a while, and while this may not be the best price that we can get, I'm just gonna go with it. Maybe we'll make this guy the, the one that we heal, and we'll get one emerald mending or something in the future. But for now, I should be able to get at least, like, a couple more or something like that. Sorry, I know this isn't the most um, uh, gracious uh, living area, but once we're done here, I'll at least give you the in entire house because we don't need to cycle and be worried about hitting you or something like that at least this will get us one more mending book and then from there i don't know what do we want to apply it to probably like i don't know maybe boots and helmet first since the legs and the chest have more durability and one more thank you very much i will let you out of there and just try not to let a zombie in if someone comes knocking at your door um just just don't answer all right cool see you later all right, what I actually want to do now is I want to run back to the end because there is one more thing at least that I need there, and that is I got to get the spire trim because we got to get all of the uh, armor trims, and that's the one found in end cities, and we didn't get one in our first one. That's why I also grabbed the smithing table from over there because maybe we'll apply it, or maybe, no, we'll probably want to wait until we have netherite. Otherwise, um, we're going to have to end up uh, not really utilizing whatever it is that we do. Should I put this down here? Yeah, if we're going to the end, then it's time. And we're going to remember to put a torch down at the bottom of here as well. Guys, I'm not going to forget and just jump down there, especially after we did the start there, the caves and cliffs advancement. Like, there's no way that I'm, I'm just going to, you know, forget how this all works. Other than the part where I um, didn't really consider, I should just like, have the what how oh, it's gonna be really tedious to get back up using fireworks unless of course we you know just right now i don't have a spawn point set so i'll just end up back at world spawn when i can get back home that way but otherwise i guess we could just go back through the end portal in order to not have to deal with flying up there um okay let's see if we can find another uh end city hopefully pretty quickly with the elytra and then, um, or I could have obviously done this, you know, when I come back in to respawn the dragon and yeah, dragon's breath and whatnot. But also we might get some more things with mending that I'll just be able to combine with our existing gear. That's why I'm thinking like, it could actually be valuable to do now. Okay, here we go. I do have wood on me this time, but elegant, elegant. Beauty, he's grace. Also eating a potato and then we'll plant the others. That's just so that, uh, you know, eating every food. Gotta do what you gotta do. I don't actually have much remaining food on me, but let's go for a fly. I don't actually have unbreaking on my elytra, so I have to be a little bit careful and possibly slay some endymans um, if we need to repair it. 
Uh, that was really quick. Is that a new one? I think this is actually a new one. Okay, cool. <laughs> I was just like a little bit in in this direction, and then there it is. Uh, yeah, I upped it to a uh, big render distance. Barely even needed it. We're getting really lucky, and it's a freaking ship city as well. What the heck? Yes, please. Don't mind if I do. Let's go grab the elytra. Um, I did happen to notice a few comments in the last episode from like brothers, literally just chests, like right there. You, you, why are you using the wood that that's in your inventory instead of just I don't know making a shulker box using uh, the chests that are right there? What are you doing, Jardon? Not very smart. Oh, prot and mending, but you're iron and not diamond. That's very uh, unfortunate. It is. I would say, hey, maybe I should get this as a backup in case I die. But, well, you know, if I die, it's uh. Oh, we're not gonna have too much uh, series left, are we now? Hello, would you like to give me another shulky shell? I don't even know where you went. What are you doing? Ow, balls. Um, ow. Okay, okay, guys. Maybe you, maybe you. Got him. Yeah, looting, thank you. Holy frick, that's a lot. One moment, one moment, one moment. Oh, he's right there. Got him, perfect. Yikes. No, no, let's not. No sneak attacks, please. Oh, let's go, another shell. I mean, at this point, I just have so much garbage in my inventory, but I don't want to take a trip home. I just want to stay out here for a little bit, so I'm kind of, uh, did I leave my, I left my crafting table over in the village, so I am gonna to have to use my wood for that, but at least I know not to use it for a chest. Aren't you proud of me, everybody? Look at me using the chests that are already present in the end in order to make things so I don't have to waste otherwise uh, scarce resources. What we got in here, just, uh, that's really lame. That's very underwhelming. Um, hey, efficiency for fortune, but we're already efficiency five in it up here. But hey, we have a, just in case that breaks, or I don't know why it would, but just in case, always good to have spares in case you die. Also, I mean, having the, oh God, extra iron will be good for making anvil. I can't remember, did I already make an anvil? I don't know. I don't remember yesterday, let alone last week, the last episode. Mending on the sword that we can come by. You love to see it. Thank you very much. However, uh, no spire trim, which is kind of why we're here, which is uh, a little bit sad, but I think we do have one more loop building. Right, right, right. I think that one right there. Surely he's not gonna jump off forgetting to put on his lights for one of these times. <laughs> Boy, wouldn't that be a surprise? Not surprising, sad, sad end to our story. It has mending and also poo. So that's gonna be a no. Well, everybody, gotta find another one. Ship city number two was still not enough for us, which is kind of crazy. Oh, there we go. Oh my God, oh, this is a big boy. I am three for three on ship cities. Never tell me the odds. What in the world? Oh, they're gonna be like mods folder moment, mods folder moment. But hopefully we'll have some nice loot. We got one, two, uh, three, four. Is it, dude, is this a fiver loot? And we have a gateway right there. Okay, that's, this is destiny, everybody. Gateway next to a massive loot end city means that there's gotta be a spire trim. Or, or not, <clears throat> or just, or just not, or it's just gonna bait us. Here we go. There is gonna be a spire trim in here. I know that there isn't. Smite four, feather, feather, huh? pretty, pretty cool stuff. A lot of diamonds, very nice, but uh, yikes, hold on. Okay, come on guys, why? Why? Normally, like, I just wouldn't even care about getting it because I'm normally not focused on getting all the advancements and yet here we are struggling struggling very hard to find something that I normally would just not even think twice about. But man, look at all those diamonds. That's pretty cool. I don't know if we'll end up using this Mike 4 and stuff like that, but um, okay, that is a full shulker box. Oh boy, oh boy, I can't wait to do some inventory sorting. It's gonna be so fun. All right, over to the ship. Come on, bless these chests with the spire trim. That is not a spire trim. It's the wrong thing. You, 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 the wrong thing still. Why so much the wrong thing? So much of the wrong thing is happening here, and it's just very sad and disappointing. So both of these. Okay, we got we got loot on either side here. All right. It's just diamonds, man. It's just diamonds all day long. I've never been so disappointed to see diamonds and not armor trim. Are you crazy? Can we can we can we get over there? Hold on, I'm trying to uh, save fireworks. Even though I think I have. Do I have extra gunpowder? I don't know. Can he do it? I think he can. No, he can't. Oh, he can. I was sick using the stairs to our advantage there. Please, 
This is actually crazy. <laughs> what is going on, man? What is going on? Uh, okay, I know, well, that was, uh, we got a little bit more, right? So that was, we've done that one, we've done that. There's four, four loot things inside of this end city, plus the ship, and, and nothing, nothing at all. Are you, yes, this is our last chance before, holy frick, I have to find another, are you crazy? Oh my god. <laughs> we are four for four on ship cities. But unfortunately, I, I actually don't know if the Spire Armor Trim only spawns inside of the single layer top entrance staircase ones, in which case I guess it would make sense as to why we aren't finding it. But I, I don't know. I don't know if it only spawns in that one of three. Like you can't get it in the ship, you can't get it in the, uh, the three story. I guess we're gonna find out if we establish the pattern here of never finding it until we get a city that has like several of those specific ones. Calm down, man. Ah, god dang it. Nothing. Nothing. Yep, no spire armor. No spire armor. There is mending. Can we do a combo wombo on this thing possibly um, in a specific order that we can just keep the protection? But I don't need that. But we do not sacrifice, um, or we don't sacrifice the protection, but we keep the mending. I think we should be able to actually. <laughs> hey, maybe after we're all of a sudden done, I'm not actually gonna need to go into the nether and like find a bastion and mine gold and use that for a max beacon or something. We're just, we're going to find so many end cities that I'm just gonna end up having all the gold I need for a max beacon simply from doing this. Anything? No, but that's, Great, the, oh baby, we got another one. Oh my God, dude. <laughs> Wait, dude, there's no way. Wait, oh, there is no way. I, I just went backwards. But still, look at the look at the proximity here, dude. What is happening? Okay, anyway, maybe, maybe over here, maybe we can have just like, a, it's like a square with end cities on every corner. I actually do need to start being a little careful because our elytra is running down, our fireworks are too. And if I don't find another gateway, then we will have a very painful trek back. Wait, oh, hold on. It's just, it's a tiny one, but you're telling me there's a chance. <laughs> there is there is a loot structure on top. Come on, please make this happen so that we can then retreat to that gateway we saw at the big city. <sighs> Come on. Go, go, go. I'm not even gonna reduce render distance here. No, what are you doing? Final hope. Oh, this is so painful. What is the... What is the meaning of this? I'm gonna actually leave here, having gone through like six end cities, and not, not having gotten a spire armor trim. How crazy is that? How crazy is that? I'm gonna switch to a new elytra though, for safety. We don't want that one to break, especially not when we're in the air. And, and I'm gonna, I gotta fly back to the gateway. This is ridiculous. Absolutely, completely and utterly ridiculous. Wait, 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 wait. I think this is, yes, this is also a new one. And maybe it's the one we need. I have enough fireworks still. And there's a gateway right below it. Come on, you're telling me there's a chance. Okay, this is new, right? This is new, this isn't the one, like, wait, is this? Thank goodness, we did it, we got it. It's been done. It was a sign. The gateway just had to be a little bit closer than last time, you know, and then it all makes sense. Okay, well that said, I mean, let's uh, just collect another shell or two, but I think I think we've done what we need to do here, which is very exciting. Did I get another shell? I didn't, I didn't do, um, but that's okay. Here, let's go over to the ship and get some more that way. God, <laughs> that was... Oh man, I'm like, actually, I'm astonished by how many end cities I was able to find in such a short time, even with an elytra, and simultaneously astonished by how few spire, oh, 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 you can find it in the ship. Okay, so this particular one was hogging all of the spire armor trims that you could possibly want to get. For some reason, it was just, yep, all of them, all the allocation went to here. Uh... How nice, how nice. We might as well check just, uh, I think there was one or two remaining loot structures here. We might as well check it and then we can bid farewell. Two more loot structures, beautiful. Um, what do you have? What do you have? Something good, something good for us? I went in on the wrong side. Was it this side? There we go. And just, hey, you know what? A lot of gold. Reducing the amount we're gonna need to collect from the end. 
And what about here? If we could find more things that have mending on them, it would reduce the amount of emeralds that we're gonna need. I mean, we got diamonds for days now, and a few emeralds, and I think, I think on that note, it's time to depart. What a lovely time it's been. Thankfully, uh, absolutely no issues finding the cities, ship cities, no less, and now we leave. Goodbye, farewell. Okay, I think, if I'm not mistaken, I can recall how to get home. Maybe, maybe not. Maybe I can't recall how to get home. <laughs> oh no. Was it this? No, it was this direction. Okay, we only wasted one firework. Always raining, every single time, without fail. Oh man, I know where to go. By heart, no cords needed. I mean, it's just 45 degrees basically, but let's plant some taters that I've put somewhere. And that'll be a better ongoing food source for us. Although I guess, you know what? To be fair, we've just gotten so much gold that I can probably just do golden carrots forever. Not even having needed to go to the nether. All right, everybody, uh, it's time for the fun job. Sorting out our inventory. I'll be back in a moment. I am probably not gonna have enough levels at the moment to do all the combinations, but let's see what we can do here. I think that, yeah, probably combining the sword and the chest plate are gonna be a little bit uh, pricier. What do we have? Six on that. And what's the reverse? 16. No, thank you. And what about you? Do we keep the. So from that direction, it's eight. Prop four and break you through mending, that's good. But lesser used, I think the boots, since they don't have any unbreaking on them, are probably a good one to do. Helmet also may be more worthwhile, and it's only, yeah, two levels a piece. Let's do that, and three levels, and then these things are good to go, and then we have six levels left, so maybe the sword next, sharpness four, looting three, mending, and, um, if only we had on breaking three, I could put it on the elytra because I'm a little bit worried about this guy at the moment. And then, um, let's see, I was, I was about to jump off of there and be like, oh, I haven't put my elytra on. Maybe I should just go through the other ones and I don't know, let them expire as, as we use them before I get on breaking three or um, until we decide to get some load. Do I have any, um, no, I do need to go and get some more gunpowder. As much as I would like to not sleep through the night, I don't like the rain, so. That's gonna, that's just gonna get a no from me. All right, so I guess we're good. Oh God, but I am gonna need more fireworks because I wanna go to the nether and get hot tourist, find a bastion, maybe get some netherite that way and slay a brute. And I think we can leverage some of this gold, even though maybe I should be saving it to do some beacon stuff, but there we go. Beautiful, lots more footage. So I'm just gonna take a few minutes, try to find a few creepers down here. Um, get some more gunpowder for more fireworks. Hello. I'm like half expecting to just have most of the creepers I find blow up, but I think that one bow shot plus a crit should be good. And hello, and boop. What are we up to? Six. God dang it. Okay, at least it, I wasn't paying attention. No, God. Well, hey, I got two from that anyway. 24 more fireworks, hooray. If I have a lot more paper, I just realized I might be, neg be neglecting that component a bit. Hello. Nothing. Hmm, you know what? I actually don't think that I've slain a slime yet, have I? I'm sorry about this, but that does count. I don't have, I can let you guys be. Okay, I just had to, I had to split you for it to count. I'm sure we, well, we'll have to find a swamp for both frogs and just entering every biome at some point, but still, earlier the better. Hey guys, goodbye, and you? Wow, a trifecta, I missed. A trifecta, hooray! Okay, 18 is definitely plenty. I realized after a bit I should probably be trying to get some uh, repairs back into my elytra, but you know, a bit, too little too late here for that one. And he got him, and then you, on the other hand, I was almost actually thinking like, maybe this would be a good spot to do sniper duel if I could get a skeleton to spawn in the right area because this is definitely like over 50 blocks. You know, what if we took that guy over there and we did, we did do sniper duel with him? What if we, what if we did do that? Let's give it a, let's give it a go. Okay, come on up, come on up, come come on, come on up, come on up. 
Get in the boat. Wait, get in the boat. Get in the boat. God dang it, I'm switching my stuff. I don't want to be doing that when I'm right clicking. Okay, he's in the boat. This is good news. Now, I have to, I have to, wait. Oh God, I gotta, offhand. Okay, I do have to like box him in otherwise. Frick. Okay, frick you, man, frick you. Gotta box him in. I hope I have enough uh, wood for this. Should probably just have dug out some stone, but oh well. You're annoying. I just want you to know that you be very, very annoying. Although honestly, I understand your predicament and that you're trying to get out of it. It's, it's fine. Okay. All right. A well, little sniper duel ski is definitely going to happen. We've got, we've got the real estate. This might be just a little bit more of a big area with mobs who are going to try to get us than I would necessarily like to see. But um, yeah. Let's. What, what are we at here? Oh, now all the creepers come out. We're at uh. Negative six, or we're at 6.30. Okay, okay, <laughs> everyone's gonna try to get me. And just a quick reminder, everyone, you cannot do sniper duel vertically. It does not work. It has to be horizontally. God, I am a pin cushion. And now it's gonna take even longer before I can get levels because my mending is just gonna be um, repairing armor for ages. But hey, more opportunity for gunpowder. And boom, and got him. Living life a little on the edge there. So it was 6.30, which means here actually should be fine, I think. All right, here goes, wait, it will, it will be fine, right? It will be fine, 575, that would be 625. Yeah, this is it, this is more than 50 blocks. Nobody sneak up on me. I'm a little bit nervous about this. If a creeper like walks up behind and blows me up, it's gonna be not cool. Ooh, a little high, a little high. Oh, we got him, we got him once. Sniper duel. Easy. I think I was even a little bit beyond the 50 there. It was almost 60, actually. Let's go. Let's go. Nice. All right. Thank you for helping us complete the advancement, Mystery Skeleton Man. Um, that said, yeah, I think we are uh, good to re up on some fireworks and maybe try to uh, go and hot tourist it up. I only have three paper. <laughs> My my sugar cane is not necessarily the most prolific farm of all time, but uh, at least we've got a little bit to uh, go off of here. Um, yeah. Oh, actually, we, we had some more in the chest. I don't know if I want to dedicate all of it, but this should be a good amount of fireworks to hold us over for a bit anyway. All right, let's go be a hot tourist. Also, things we can do, we could try to uh, get some gas tears so that we can respawn the dragon, yikes! And we could also try to get some wither skeleton skulls now that we have some looting three in our lives. Spooky scary skeleton plus, anything, 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 nope. That is so many blazes. How am I supposed to work in these conditions? Oh my God, bro. That's just not okay. I can't, I, like, I might have mostly prop four. I cannot contend with this. You're crazy. Okay, he despawned. Thank you very much. Okay, maybe we just have a little, little hot swaparuski where we do this and then we can, holy frick, he's right there. And then, no, I said no. I said don't do that. But, 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 but otherwise, how else are we going to get the, uh, wither skeleton skulls, right? I mean, oh my God, this place is teeming with them. Huh. <laughs> It is one of the benefits of a Soul Sand Valley um, fortress, but at the same time, like, oh my god, it's also just so nightmarish to deal with otherwise. Jeez, I'm trying to get the blaze on the other side of them and just missing. Come on, come on. This got him, got him, got him, got him, got him. And then they just immediately another one respawns. I should be trying to get hot tourist destinations, but I'm not. Here, come, come so that I can just like not have to deal with the blazes shooting at me. You know what, between just having absolutely no wither skeleton spawning or an incredible surplus, due to, holy frick, due to the Soul Sand Valley Fortress, um, I actually think this is probably preferable. My God, okay, hold on. Hold on just a minute, Jiminy Christmas. Still no wither skeleton skulls, and we swap. <laughs> but we're back. Just click and hold, click and hold. Holy blaze rods. I don't know, man, let's just go try to find a Warped forest or something because good lord. And maybe a bastion, perhaps, to go with it. I gotta be hello, Mr. Gasty Poo. <laughs> this is offhand problems. Just off whoa. Okay. No, let me what is happening? I can't get out of here, man. Freaking Elytra. <sighs> okay, at least we're regenning it. And now 
Hey, bud. Wait, let's get him. Let's just do a little quick flight over there, and then we could just uh, do this. Got it. Got it. Did we get the looting? I think we got the looting on that. Let's go, baby. Triple gas tier out of one. You love to see it. <laughs> we just do a, do a little bit of... We do a bit of hot swapping. One of these times, I'm going to think, like, I have Elytra in my offhand. That means I'm wearing my Elytra, right? And it's going to go poorly. It is inevitable. Um, but all we need actually now is, like, one more guest, and then we're probably good on a uh, respawn if we would like to do that at some point. But, hey... How about a blue raspberry forest? I'm probably going to also just end up getting myself lost, which is going to be really annoying. Well, we got uh, another fortress. Not that that helps us very much, but means that wherever a bastion is, is probably not going to be super nearby here. Oh, wait, there we go. All right, hot tourist destinations. Let's go. Let's go. So I guess on that note, wait, why did I... I thought my elytra had way more oh god it lost so much durability just from that flying around i gotta be careful dude <laughs> it's gonna be really bad if i'm flying over the lava and it just goes away maybe a little maybe a switch is in order here to that one any guests no all right well we can start heading back and um soul sand valley is going to be the best place anyway to find gas i just have to remember how to get there Okay, not the most ideal positioning for you. If you could come over here so that you are not over the lava. Oh, you know what? I should have brought in a, uh, I should have brought in some whatchamacallit, some string or just made it, just brought in a fishing rod. So I could have done, okay, man, really? Is this your MO? Taking a bath? Anyway, could have ridden a strider because I have a saddle as well, right? Okay, he's just, he's like, no, mm -mm, you're not getting my tears. <laughs> All right, cool, bud. I'm just not even going to worry about that. We'll find another. Okay, and somehow we have found another fortress, but no, uh, no more bastions. Hello. Okay, please don't be over lava. Got him. Did you drop? And we good. We got six gas here. Let's go. When do I want to do a dragon respawn? We can kind of do it whenever, I suppose. Now that we've had a few minutes away from the fortress, we can check back and uh, see if we... I think I'm headed in the right direction. Maybe. Ah, here we are. Okay, definitely more wither skeletons. Definitely more blazes too. Okay. Oh my God. Leave me alone. You're annoying. You're annoying. You're annoying. You're very annoying, and I'm gonna hit, hit by more mans. Oh, and then I'm gonna switch off, and then it, you know what? I'm getting it out of my hot bar, and I'm just gonna do blocky blocky. Oh my god, there's so many! How am I supposed to operate in these conditions? Oh, here they come, here they come, here you get. Don't lose your head! Oh my god. Okay, must go away. You must go away. I, I, I'm, I'm playing a game of whack a mole here. Like, they're probably going to just respawn as quickly as I can possibly shoot at them. Seriously, not a single skull, not a single spooky, scary skeleton to be heard of. Holy frick! <laughs> I'm having no luck today! God dang it, I need to find another bastion very badly so I can be more productive and then, like, come back here later on or something like that. Hey, bud, I'm just gonna run right into you, okay? Oh, ow. Ball, ow. Okay, be that way. Fine. I thought I could one-hit him, but I was sorely mistaken. Leave me alone, man. I'm getting terrible luck here. First, it was the spire trim. Now it's the inability to get skulls and the inability to find any bastions so I can try to get, well, armor trim, I suppose. I can't remember if I got the, I don't think I've gotten the bastion armor trim. I, just, I have not. And then also, okay, missed this freaking dude. And then, oh God, I just want to see if I can get some netherite without having to do bed mining because I need to do a, a whole sheep pen and all that stuff if I want to do that. Okay, that's, uh, that's definitely, like, I have enough gas tears. Where in the frick are bastions? Okay, cool. Fortress number four? Five? <laughs> no bastions? <sighs> Bro. And I just know next time that we find a bastion, it's it's gonna be a freaking it's gonna be a stables. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my.
my god. Wait, this... Yeah, this one's... No, it's new. Alrighty, boys. I, uh... It's impressive. My... My prediction levels are astonishing. I didn't... I didn't bring gold in, did I? I didn't do that. Which, you know, on, on second thought, I probably should have. But also, what, what there is presence here is, I believe, I saw just a nice, you know, gold piece. Kind of inclined to leave my elytra on in case I need to make a, a quick escape here if things go real wrong. I could just do, like, a sick, you know, dive in, go for the chest, and then freaking elytra out and try not to die or something like that. Because there could be something good in there. Uh, it's just another chest. Okay, here we go. I'm going to be daring. This is probably not smart. <laughs> but here goes nothing. Oh, we got that. We got an ancient debris. We got some of this. And nobody can touch this. He can touch this. But I go. Yeah, wait, there was a brute over there. That I would love. I would like to get the brute. I would like to get the brute. We got to get, we got to get freaking like one. What here? Hey, man, you're not going to be mad if I just kind of yoink some gold blocks really quick, are you? Okay, I do got to be a little careful as long as I'm in some spots that they just, you know, can't hit me. Nope. Can I touch this? It's also, it's just another, it's another stables that's freaking on top of, like, just bad, bad, just lava everywhere. What a freaking, what a freaking time, dude. Okay, I'm not sure. Oh, he took the gold! He took the full block! The actual freaking cheeser! Oh, man! At least I got the trim! Or, actually, sorry, I should say, smithing template, which is good. Good do. Kinda need that for the, uh, upgrades. Um, God, we're gonna need to find nine of those. Uh, okay, man's down there. Man's down there. I just gotta get into a spot where nobody is gonna hit me with the crossbows. We're going for the brute, boys. We're going for- here. there he is, there he is, there he is. Nobody's touching this. Nobody is touching this, right? Hey, 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 hey. Okay, we got this. We got this man's, right? We got this man's. So if I get shot off, I'm dead. Come on. Come on. Come on. He's done! We got the brute! Okay. I don't know if it's worth my exploration of the upper part over yonder. Um, is it worth just... Because I think, like, we could potentially get another smithing template, right? It's possible. But also, I'm pushing my luck a bit. And we could simply... We'll do it. We're here. We're here. It's a little bit dicey. I sh Yo, God, dude! Wait, my elytras are fricked. My elytras are kind of fricked, which is a little scary. And everybody's... Mm, we could do this later. We could do this later. And I need... Yeah, I need to repair my elytra. Okay, it's 100, 300. Easy. Easy chords to remember. Um, yeah, let's go back and, and, um, not, not lose everything. Hey, there we go. Okay, we're at, it's basically 80, negative 80, which makes sense, like 650 divided by 8 in each, each direction. But I should probably screenshot that just in case I do <laughs> lose track. Me? Lose track? I would never. Oh my god, our elytras are fricked, dude. Hmm. We gotta do one more. We gotta do one more little little trip down into there and see if we can get a wither skeleton skull. It must be done. Oh, just oh my god, they're crazy. They can't they can't keep getting away with shooting at me from there. Oh my god, calm your uh, freaking faces! Holy heck, bro! I just honestly, I just need to come back with fire resistance, and that, that's the way to do it. If I just come back here with fire resistance, and I don't have to worry about any of these obnoxious little snipers. I can just focus entirely on the wither skeleton. Well, just one, just one, just one. One of these days, I'll win the lottery, boys. One of these days. Oh, man. But today may not be that day. Oh, another one just spawned. Okay, it's you guys. Oh, my God, there's a lot. Oh, my God, there are so many. Huh. Huh. Oh, they're all... Wait, okay, you're all stuck up there. Oh, off the... No. Yo, let's go! Spooky, scary time! I love it! Okay, okay, okay. You can touch me from there? How dare you? Two for two. Two for two. Two for back to back. The only time I've ever gotten back to back is no looting. It makes sense, right? No, do it. Don't, 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 don't. You know what I gotta do? I gotta do. I gotta just. I gotta just go in. I gotta go into these. I gotta go into these mans down here. You know? Hey, hey, hey! What are you doing? Can not reach? What the heck? It's because of the soul sand. <laughs> it's literally because of the soul sand. He's he's too low. That's funny. Hey, oh, there's a few of these. Down here, a few of these mans. Come on, come on, let's make it happen. Number two, no. Well, you know what? One's good enough for now. Oh, man. All right, 
what we need to do badly is take a trip, take a trip on back to the village, get some unbreaking, get that in our lives onto our elytra, and um, then we will not have to worry so much about everything. Um, but that may be a little expedition to do between episodes. I don't think that's terribly hazardous heading over to the village, right? In between episodes? I'll, re I'll have to record it just in case I, I die. But I don't think I would. That'd be sad to die in between episodes doing something like that. So anyway, I think that's where we'll wind this one down for now. Thanks for watching. Got a little more inventory sorting to do. Make sure to like the video. Subscribe to stay tuned for more episodes of Hardcore All Advancements. And um, at least we uh, we made a bit of progress today. I'll see you next time.